December 2015, New Zealanders submitted their votes for which flag out of the five shortlisted flags could represent their country. So how did New Zealand arrive at the five shortlisted flags? After more than 10,000 flag designs submitted by members of the public, the submitted flags were then shortlisted to 30. You can see some of the top 30 shortlisted flags on screen now. Then the five picked to be shortlisted then went head to head with the public picking one that will compete with the current flag in a referendum in March 2016. The shortlisted flag could replace the country's current 113 year old flag. Some of the reasons being put forward for changing the flag is because of the links with the country's colonial past with the union flag being on the current flag and another main reason being the similarities and confusion to the Australian flag. The five shortlisted flags were The first referendum, the results. The vote was held in December 2015 with over 1.5 million people voting and the voter turnout being just over 48%. The flag picked by the people of New Zealand was the Carl Lockworth's black, white and blue silver fern design. The design won the first count with over 40% and then the next two counts with over 40% for the second and third count. The final fourth count was between the silver fern black, white and blue and the silver fern red, white and blue. With the black, white and blue silver fern design winning the count with over 50% of the vote. Meaning the second place flag was the silver fern red, white and blue design with over 49% of the vote and then coming in third place the red peak flag design. The black, white and blue silver fern design will go head to head with the country's current flag of New Zealand next year in the second referendum in March 2016.